This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a metal model X6V challenge lock. These metal locks are made in Bulgaria and are really, really interesting because they come with some incredible looking keyways, including this curved keyway you see on the X6V. The lock comes with a bit of a story. It was sent to me several months ago by Con, Peter, and William in Australia and I did not pick it on video because I had previously featured this exact same model very early on in my channel in video number 28. I did not realize at the time, however, that this was probably a challenge lock. So as I was putting some locks together today for a video on interesting paracentric keyways, I came across this lock and decided to pick it. And I was surprised when I got a false set because these locks only come with standard pins from the factory. So I picked on it a little bit longer and I realized that this was intended to be a challenge lock. So we are going to pick this guy and then I'll take it apart and we'll see what sort of nastiness was put inside. By the way, if you are interested in learning a little bit more about how to deal with paracentric keyways like this, I encourage you to see my video number 82 where I have a little discussion about that. Okay, let's start picking on this. We're going to use some top of the keyway tension with this wrench from the Peterson Flat 5 and I'm using a standard hook in 23 thousandths. This is from South Ord's Max Collection. Okay, number one is binding. Got to click out of him. Two is loose, three is loose, four is loose. Little click out of five, nothing out of six. Back to one. Little click out of one, nothing on two. Another click out of three. Okay, four feels like it's binding. Okay, got a bit of a false set little bit of movement on five, maybe. Okay, six, I'm getting some feedback on, little counter rotation. And I might have overset six. I let off tension, he felt like that dropped into place. Nothing on one. Two's giving me some counter rotation. And that opened him up. Okay, let's take this guy apart and see what is inside. Ah. Okay, looks like we need a clip remover to get this lock apart. This is one of these bendy clips. I usually replace them with spring clips after I take them off for the first time. Now let's get a key. We'll relock this and then get a follower. Okay, definitely a challenge lock. I'm seeing some modifications to the core in there. One is standard, two is probably a steel pin, three is a homemade serrated, four is a standard steel pin, five is brass standard, and so is six. Looks like we might have some, uh, actually some tapered key pins which might explain why I so easily overset, I believe it was number six. Okay, let's uh, take a look at these driver pins now. One is standard. Two is a spool. Three is standard. Four is standard. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'm not sure if this was intended to be a challenge lock. And five is a spool. And looks like all factory springs and nothing unusual about that core. Okay, so definitely some modifications done. We have some threading, we have some counter milling, we have some non-standard driver pins, and it looks like one homemade key pin. So let me give you a close up of all of this. Okay, on the key pins, it looks like we have one homemade serrated pin in slot number three. 
then all of the rest have tapered tops on them, which can make them a little bit easy to overset. And we actually did overset one, I believe it was number six. Then on the driver pins, we have four standard pins and two spools in slots two and six. Moving over to the core, there is some modification here. You can see in slot two, we have some counter milling that was meant to grab the spool that we had in that slot. And number six is threaded. And that threading in chamber six appears to be intended to catch on the serrations on the key pin and make that chamber act a little bit different than it might otherwise. As far as anything else on this core, I don't see anything else unusual. However, I guess it is worth taking a look at that keyway because, wow, those curved keyways, they can be really, really intimidating to look at. This particular one, however, if you approach it at an angle and you keep in mind the technique I discuss in video number 82, you can thread that pretty easily. Okay, that's all I have for you on this metal model X6V. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.